In this episode, we're going to be talking to Andres Escobar, and he is the founder of Review Biz, which is a review platform. And I can't wait to uh, have you join me in this conversation. But before I, we get started, folks, we'd love for you to right now just go to uh, the uh, rating section of the podcast and rate us, review us, uh, share share this podcast with uh, those who you think would benefit. Uh, and would love to be able to grow quickly using these tools. Uh, we're bringing in some of the best tools and some of the best creators and uh, mass users out there to talk to you about this. So can't wait to let you hear the conversation with, uh, with Andres. Let's go. Andres, how are you? Good to have you. Thank you so much for your time for jumping in on our podcast today. I'm great, man. Thank you so much, Ricardo. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. It's, it's pure honor. Awesome. Awesome. Great to have you. So why don't we start? Tell us uh, who you are and tell us what you do. All right, for sure. So my name is Andres Escobar. Uh, I say I was born, um, Colombian born, but American made. Uh, I was born right. in Colombia in, in, when I was two years old, and I came here uh, soon after. And and I uh, definitely it was uh, I had no choice in the matter. But uh, I'll tell you what I when I became eighteen, uh, actually twenty one, I decided to join the military. And so uh, joined the military, learned a lot about discipline and and what it is to have organization in your life, and uh, really helped me out and. Uh, you know, ever since I was in second grade, I had my, my first computer. That's a Commodore 64. And so mm -hmm. uh, I've always been intrigued with computers. And I wanted to be a computer guy in the military. And I was not able to because of my colorblindness. So uh, mm -hmm. fast forward, um, I was happy because of the job that I was into. I was able to connect with people in the Air Force. And I had a really cool job uh, that I didn't decide that I wanted to have. But it was one that was given to me. So, but it was uh, just serving, help, helping the military members feel at home, away from home. Uh, served in and during freedom after 9-11 and, and then also uh, the Iraqi war. So, yeah. So, you know, served and I, I'm, I come from a, a place of, of serving and uh, that's, that's what I, I do with my, myself and my business. And uh, we're here to serve our clients and, uh, and I love software. I love people. And so that's it. That's what, I, what I'm here to do. Awesome. Awesome, man. So, so talk to me a little bit, a, a little bit about this tool that you, uh, that you have put together, this proprietary tool. I understand that's what you're working on now. Talk to me a little about that and how you actually got to this point from, uh, this is a marketing tool. So I'll let you tell the audience what, what it is and, and, and talk to me a little about how you got from, from 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 where you are to this point yeah that's great thank you so uh interesting enough yeah it is a a marketing type tool uh i also call it a sales tool as well um mm -hmm. and you know i've been doing sales in my life all throughout my life and i got introduced into marketing and and i understood more and more um about reviews and and this is what our platform is we help companies get reviews and we generate reviews just hand, hand over fist and we have, we inspire reciprocity as well. Uh, so the, the tool itself is, it works with Google. It works with all the different platform directories. We integrate with like 150 different directories. Um, and then we also integrate with company CRMs, um, Salesforce, HubSpot, MailChimp, Constant Contact. Um, like I told you earlier, we actually, our focus in the gym industry. And so in gym industry, they use two different uh, platforms, MindBody and DataTrack. And so we integrate with the, those platforms. And so mm -hmm. it makes it so simple where as an owner, as a staff member, you forget to ask for reviews because you're just worried about either your sales, your operations, whatever job title you have, you don't want to concern yourself about asking for review. You forget about it sometimes. So we make it so simple. We have a process that will generate the uh, generate the reach out automatically We're using those platforms and integrations. We do custom integrations for some people too. And that's basically once they, 
We reach out to them via text message and email. We send them to a page and that page ex explains for every review the business gets, our platform will contribute. One family will get clean water for one year. And so it yeah. just inspires reciprocity. Like reciprocity to me is, is a new word, but I've always done it. Like you just give without expecting anything in return. You just do it. And like, hey, people will, will just out of, wow, they wanted, people want to do something good. You know, COVID came and I realized that there was a lot of power in reviews, not just reviews, but Google My Business. And if people mm -hmm. don't know what Google My Business is, I just do a search, GMB, and, and you're going to see that it is an underrated platform that is given to people. They can add it for free and, and start. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of power there. They can start using it. And the reason why I noticed that last year with COVID is that Google My Business shut down businesses digitally. Like they just said, everyone's closed. <laughs> you know, government said lockdown, nobody can do anything and it closed yeah, everyone's yeah, business. Yeah, yeah. You had to actually go to the platform and, and say you're open and and put your co what you're doing for COVID updates and stuff. And so, so that, that, that was really interesting. I was like, you know what, we really got to dig deep into this and be able to help customers, mm -hmm. help businesses to really uh, utilize this platform. So again, you know, we integrate with Google, Facebook, Yelp, all these different review directories, and uh, we just drive them there, you know? Sounds great. I'm, I'm, I love the review part. So so how did how did you get to setting up a review tool, a review platform like this? I mean, how did you get here? I'm, I'm sure you uh, you probably had some something else that you were doing before. I mean, how did you get this particular idea? Get this this all set up? Wow, yeah, I I, I like to say I, I created myself and everything in my my own mind. But actually, I had a um, a friend of mine that introduced me to marketing, introduced mm -hmm. me to review platforms and I was like oh wow that's really cool it's like how do we do this better because I'm always want to do things better I'm always about in you know improvement you know it's mm -hmm. the process right it's the journey it's how you get there it's what's important mm -hmm. so so I, I said all right well um decided to to start developing the platform into a niche market so that we, we can help gyms and so we can help gyms um, which needed, they were, uh, you know, all the businesses were getting shut down, but gyms uh, to me was my best client. And I said, I, I need to help out these, this industry a lot more. And so mm -hmm. uh, little by little connecting with a lot of different people, just networking. Uh, we've been able to, to grow uh, the company and uh, by, by word of mouth, but you know, you know, what's better than word of mouth, Ricardo. Tell me, digital, Tell digital, us. digital word of mouth. It's <laughs> online reviews, mouth. right? Digital word of yeah. mouth, man. So, but, but see, well, we grew our business with, with reviews. We, we showcase our reviews on our website. You know, people buy from people they, they like, know, and trust. And so how do you get over that trust factor? And that's with reviews. And so that's how we were able to use our own reviews, uh, help other companies use the reviews to close business. You can actually close business with your, your reviews that you get, you know, is like, Hey, have you, you know, you're doing a tour or whatever it is, you're doing a demo is like, have you seen our reviews in my proposals? I put my reviews right there. So I get my recent reviews. I put, I put them right there. Boom. Every, you know, every proposal has recent, recent reviews. My website has recent reviews. We promote the good reviews on social media. Um, you know, it's, it's a really uh, interesting aspect to me is, you know, a lot of people try to to really get around the the whole review and and put have pay for reviews and we're not about that. We're all about getting reaching out to your real customer and find out what's going on with them. Because it's not only you, you want to know what the bad things that are happening in your in your business, you know. Because mm -hmm. as an owner, you have things going on and you're not you might not be aware of it that Susie at the front desk is not smiling or she's, she's really re being very rude to people. And so we'll ask for that insight. And if somebody says they it's like a two star review or thumbs down, well, that's okay. We're still going to keep that feedback private 
you're going to find out about it as a business owner. And now you're able to do something about it. Either for well, number one, you're going to talk to your employee, right? Number two, you're going to talk to your customer because you're, you're reaching out to customers and ask them, Hey, I'm sorry. Or tell them, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you forgive us? I, I, you know, we we're training her. It's our fault to take ownership and then st- develop that relationship with that customer that you can turn that, that unhappy customer into a raving fan. You really can. And so we, we have a software yeah. that does that. That's, that's a really cool thing about it. I love it. I love it. And so, so how is this, how is this tool different from like the alternatives, like the, the alternative tools that people use before? I mean, how is this different from what, um, from what's been used? Um, yeah. No. Yeah. I, I talked to marketing companies and Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I think I... Oh. Go ahead. I think we can hear you. Yeah. Oh, you know what? So, yeah, Andre, so, so how, how is this tool different from the alternatives? Like, how, how, are, how are the tools that, the, the different today than, than what, what used to, even what you used to use back then? Wow. Yeah. Um, man, because I, I love the evolution of software. I mean, you look at software 10 years ago, it's nothing compared to what it was now. Um, you know, yeah. everything has to be online in the cloud. Um, so with that being said, we, you know, we're reaching out to via email and text message. So when I talk to marketing agencies, they this is not anything new to them. And so marketing agencies right now, what they're doing is they they have you know, email campaigns to be able to, to, you know, ask for review and they'll send them one link, you know, Hey, l- reviews on Google reviews on Facebook there. And that's, that's, that's okay. But what if I don't have a Google? What if I don't have a Facebook? Right? Yeah. Now what we do different is that we give them one link and that one link sends us to this page where you get to decide where you want to leave the review. And so we recommend giving three different options you want to do four, that's cool. We could do four. Um, five is way too many. But let's say you do got four different options. Now you have, you know, more options, more opportunities for you to capture reviews from people. Mm-hmm. And so that's one way we're different. Uh, another way we're different, and, and really this is actually stands out a lot, is that we integrate with popular CRMs, right? Uh I'm sure on your on your uh, show I hear the Zapier, so we we can integrate with Zapier. We we do it you know in house all that integration, uh, some custom integration. But we also have native integrations with certain softwares. Again with with HubSpot, uh, with mm-hmm. Salesforce, uh, Constant Contact, Mailchimp. Uh, actually, we just I forgot about this one. QuickBooks. We just started integration with QuickBooks. So oh, that's nice. that's super cool, right? So you know POS systems, CRM. Those are the things that, that we're, we're standing out. Now, the third way we stand out, and I love this one. This is actually dear to my heart, is inspiring reciprocity by donating one, one year of clean water for one family, and that's in Uganda, Kenya, and Nepal. And so we partnered up with the organization, uh, We Make Impact and, .org, and, and that is – is it really dear to my heart? And so uh, how we came to be partners is it was just like a God thing. So we definitely, it was, it was really cool. This podcast is sponsored by MeisterTask, the most intuitive task manager on the web. Uh, MeisterTask is an easy to use project management tool, makes it easy and fun and colorful to get all your projects managed in one place as an entrepreneur i use my task to help me manage all of my projects um, i can drag and drop different tasks i can assign key people to the task i can set deadlines and schedules and enjoy just beautiful colors while i do that uh, so uh, if you are interested in trying my task go to meistertask.com slash dmt tools that's m-e-i-s-t-e-r-t-a-s-k dot com slash dmt tools and you can sign up for a free trial when you upgrade 
to the pro plan. So get started for free today and um, invite um, your team members and get, uh, and get productive together. That's fantastic, man. I, I really yeah. love that. So, you know, you talk about how the tool can be integrated, which is really awesome. What, what is it that, you know, your or listeners, for example, what should they do uh, to get access to this tool? Is it a free tool? Do you, is it a paid tool? Is there a premium version? Is there a demo? Talk to me a little about that. How can our listeners access the tool? Yeah, we have a free version of it. It's a uh, two weeks, 14, actually 14 days, right? 14 day trial. Um, and then if you want to know more about it, you can also book a demo on the website. It's reviewbiz.io. Uh, for many softwares out there, this is the new .com, right? It's no longer .com for software. .io, .io right? Yeah. And right. so hopefully um, it, it's not confusing, but it's just reviewbiz, and that's B-I-Z, uh, .io. And so you can find us there, and, and we'll love to help you guys out. Again, we focus on gyms. But I have uh, a printing company. I have an accountant. I have physical therapy clients. I have uh, many different clients that you know they like what we do and, and they they want to come along with us to, for the journey to to improve their reviews. And and one thing that I, I didn't really want to say too much about this, but I have to. Okay. <laughs> it's we we are are, are beta, beta testing um, a platform. Uh, uh, the platform to connect with this is to be able to get video testimonials. Oh, so awesome. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, we're right now on video, you know, the power of video is super amazing. And so what's going to happen, this is, this is how we would love to see is that after somebody leaves your review a written review on one of the platforms, we then reach out to them a week later and say, hey, thank you so much for leaving us a review. I would love for you to say what you wrote on a video do you mind clicking on this link when they click on that link with their phone they could just record that video on the computer it's real simple two minutes max you have some inspiration right there to help them really come uh with some words that make sense for for them to to really see how they were before you and how they were after you so that's that's a testimonial you want to get that fantastic yeah fantastic so it's review uh what's the what's the url again Sure. Yes. Re review biz dot io. Okay. Review biz b i z dot io. Uh, yeah. That's awesome. Uh, and I and I know Andres, uh, you know, staying in business for years is not easy. I, as entrepreneurs, we know that, right? How have you done it? Uh, how have you done it? And what would you say has been the best thing that happened since? Man, um, best thing that happened since. I gotta tell you. Um, Obstacles. <laughs> obstacles. That's, I like that. That's, a, that's pretty cool. Obstacles. Yes, obstacles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Obstacles are the way. <laughs> yeah. And, and, it, and I, I laugh at that because it's actually a, a name of a book that I'm reading right now. But it's, it's uh, you know, I work for a company and, uh, you know, running sales. And I learned a lot from this company, a sales message. Uh, and they're a two-way texting platform, and and I learned so much from uh, the owner uh, Chris Persson, and and he's been uh, he's been uh, uh, a, a kind of like a mentor, uh, not necessarily like you know, but like a friend that's kind of like guided me and helped me and, and yeah. gave me some like resources here and there. Yeah. Um, so I I, I got to definitely give uh, some some kudos to that, but you know. All, all these things, honestly, you, things that happen in your life, you say coincidences are awesome. This is great. But to me, it's like, it's all God. It's all really God. It's all God just orchestrating and putting things together. And you really have to be open to, to understand what's going on. Even the obstacles are the way to really accomplish and get to your dream, you know? So, nice nice yeah. i mean that's a really really nice way to put it um obstacles are indeed amazing and it's probably one of the best thing that would usually happen to you if you're an entrepreneur um is there anything that i didn't ask you uh that you'd like to share oh man um you know what um 
being authentic is is super super uh, important to me, right? And so, being a champion at home, or being a champion in the world, starts at home. You can't just you know fake it and and to make it and, and uh, that's great. And I get I get that. You know, um, mm-hmm. you gotta have some big dreams and and put yourself out there, put yourself in un- uncomfortable situations. But but starting at home, leading within. And then leading, if you have a family, leading that family is super important um, because if you don't have peace, how can, how can you give any peace? How can you give anybody um, more? If you don't have, right? It, you, people talk about, you know, pouring out, pouring out and giving and giving. That's great, but you got to pour into yourself and you got to be able to, to have peace and, and so much to, to, to give. And I, I think as, as humans, we have this light that we need to shine and uh and we and it's it gets dirty sometimes and it's and it's it's actually uh sometimes we we put it underneath the pillow or the the you know we get we get the people get down yeah and so we need we need to be there for one another it's a lot of things i love to share yeah. <laughs> and like you open the mic I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna rip it i'm gonna start i'm gonna start flowing here but it's just yeah you we have to we have to be accountable to one another. We have to help one another out, and uh, we don't. We're not here in this world or alone. And yeah, so, yeah. being authentic, being connected, connecting with other people's stories and stories is just you know, it's so important. I mean, listen, I'm, I'm just rambling here, but it, it's it's to me it makes sense, and I hope it makes sense to everybody at home. No, absolutely. That's there's a lot of truth to that. I would like to ask you though, just because I know you know you definitely have a lot of knowledge packing. What what kind of books are you reading, and 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 what podcasts are you listening to? I'd like to know. Yeah, no, it's awesome. Thank you for the question. And so, uh, I kind of uh, inferred to it a little bit earlier. It's uh, the obstacle is the way by by Ryan Holiday. Uh, obstacle is the way by Ryan Holiday. Cool. Yeah, great, great book. Um, so I, I realized I needed to have a morning reading and a, a evening reading. Mm. Uh, and so, so I have my morning reading is uh, the practice acceleration formula, which is uh, it's about, you know, formulas are important. You got to have formulas. Um, a sales acceleration formula is one I just recently finished. So um, that's another one. And, and honestly, like the one book that I constantly read, like no matter if I finish it, I can say, I go back to read it again. It's the Bible. And uh, I had I had a friend of mine because um, I'm not a big reader. And he goes to me, he goes, did you read any books? I'm like, yeah, I read the Bible. I'm like, yeah, but that doesn't have everything. I was like, no, it does. It, it does. Honestly, it does. <laughs> it has everything. Absolutely. And so, and so what I do, I, I read it and I journal and and it's just like God God speaks to me through the Bible and, and, and helps me throughout my day. It actually prepares me for the things to come. Believe it or not, like it is it's it's the cheat it's it's if you want to if you want to have an edge on the day like read the bible and you'll be ready the good book the good or just book. read just <laughs> like literally just start reading honestly like that's i yeah. honestly I, I tell you what every time i read it's like oh i can apply apply you gotta apply yeah yeah, yeah. and, and those, what those about your books. podcasts what podcasts uh, did you say you're listening pod, podcasts i would say uh the most recent ones are up my influence by Josh Eldridge, uh, the sales evangelist by Donald Kelly, uh, carrot Cass by by Trevor. Um, yeah, that th- those are the three three podcasts that I, I've actually uh, I'm listening to right now. Um, I've awesome. actually helped produce a podcast not too long ago. Um, that's a lot of work. I I give kudos to you, man. What an endeavor! <laughs> Thank you, man. Endeavor and <laughs> yo, yeah. definitely. Um, anything I could do to help you, I'm, I'm, I'm here for you. It, it takes it takes a while, and 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 of course, our friend Donald. We got to give a big shout out to Donald Kelly, who yeah. you mentioned the, the podcast that you're um you're listening to. Uh, you know his his team produces this podcast as well. So big shout out to the TSC Studio, of course. But but thank you uh, thank you so much, Andres, and I really appreciate you jumping in and sharing some some of this wisdom with our listeners. Um, definitely, it's not the not the last. Um, we'd certainly want to do another another thing with you later. So 
This is this is your place now. Tu casa is mi casa. Awesome. Mi casa is tu casa. You know, <laughs> so, so, so you can always uh, find some home here. We just said, folks, this. You know, his my home is his home. That's what we just said, just in case we weren't yeah. cursing each other. Or anything. No, 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 no. Just, <laughs> Not just, speaking just in so tongues you know or anything. <laughs> we weren't speaking in tongues either. But uh, but thank you, man. Good looking out, and I re really appreciate it. Um, much success with your uh, with your uh, with your tool, and um, definitely we'll be uh, we'll be we'll be talking with you another time. Awesome, Ricardo. Appreciate it. Thanks. Blessings, man. Talk soon. Thank you. So much. See you, everyone. Bye bye. That was Andres Escobar from Review Biz. I hope you enjoyed this uh, show today. Uh, certainly looking forward for the next one. Folks, don't forget to like, uh, share, uh, and review us on um, the Apple Podcast as well as uh, Spotify. Uh, your review means a lot to us, so don't forget to to leave leave your review there and share it with uh, with your with your friends. Um, and so, until next time. Choose a tool to control your growth. Talk soon.